Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my November favorites. And of course, I say this every favorites, but the months are just flying by and I cannot believe that November is already gone. And now it's gonna be December, literally tomorrow while I'm filming this. So it's kind of like bittersweet because this year has just been crazy. As we all know, 2020, I'm just kind of over it. So I do want 2021 to come sooner rather than later. And hopefully it'll be a much better year, fingers crossed. But for now, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my November favorites. And these are just some of the things that I've been loving this month, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. So if you wanna see what my November favorites were, then please keep watching. Okay, so I do have a few makeup products. So I'm gonna start with some eyeshadow palettes that I have been loving this month. So the first one here probably is not a surprise to you guys. This is the Stone Cold Fox eyeshadow palette from ColourPop and this was just released, I believe this month, the month of November. So this palette is gorgeous. It has 30 eyeshadows in here. So it's really packed full of some goodness and you have so many options, so many looks you can do with this palette. And it is a cool tone palette. So it's definitely, if you are a cool tone lover, you will love it because you have so many beautiful mattes, metallics. Just honestly, you can create so many looks using this palette. Even if you don't like cool tones, it's just like neutral and you can still create beautiful looks with it. So I really love the quality of these ColourPop shadows. They're amazing. For me, ColourPop is honestly, one of my favorite brands. I use them a lot on my channel and I just love them. I love how affordable they are. I love how innovative they are and they are always releasing new things. So that's just amazing. And this palette is just beautiful and I've used it a bunch on my channel so far because honestly, I just can't get enough of it. So this has definitely been one of my November favorites. So my next favorite is another palette from ColourPop and I actually recently got this a couple of days ago, but I just had to mention it because honestly, I'm already in love with it. I've already filmed two looks using this palette. I actually just filmed the one that I'm wearing today on my eyes. So if you guys like it, then stay tuned because this look might be up on my channel already or it is coming up very shortly. So this is the ColourPop Boudoir Noir palette and it is so beautiful. It's a 12 pan palette, so it's a little bit smaller than the other one I showed you guys but it's so amazing because this one actually comes with a mirror so I believe that this is one of the first ColourPop palettes to come with a mirror so I'm totally loving this and I just love the shadows in here they're just honestly so beautiful you get all those like beautiful golds and metallics and glitters and warm browns there's also this really gorgeous khaki green in there which I actually use today on my eyes so I really love this palette and I just had to mention it and I'm obsessed with the packaging as well because it has like this beautiful like blush tone pink with that gold everywhere and it's just my favorite ever this is just gorgeous and the quality is amazing I just can't get enough of this palette then my next favorite is this gorgeous blush that's also part of that new ColourPop collection so this blush is stunning it has that same gorgeous packaging on the outside and on the inside it comes with a nice little mirror and you can see the blush over there this is just like the perfect like corally blush with a little bit of like fine 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 golden shimmer in there it's super finely milled so it just gives your cheeks like a little bit of a glow but you will not see any like chunky glitters or anything so that is amazing and this blush here it's called love story and it is their pressed powder blush and honestly guys this is like one of my new favorite blushes i'm actually wearing it today and i just love the way it looks it kind of reminds me of the nars orgasm blush but this one has a little bit more peachy tones to it so it is just so beautiful and i can't get enough of this blush even though i just got it i'm honestly wearing it all the time and i love it my next favorite of the month has been the Sephora foundation. Now I actually found this foundation at Winners. For you guys, I believe it's Marshalls if you're from America, but I found this at my Winners. It was $5.99 Canadian, so it was super inexpensive. And I figured I might as well try it, even though I've never tried the Sephora foundations before. Me and my sister Lisa actually grabbed a couple of them and we've been hooked. So now every time we go to Winners, if we see it, we will honestly stock up because the price cannot be beat. And the formula is amazing this is like one of my new favorite foundations and i'm not sure if it's discontinued or if they just redid the packaging so i really hope that it's not discontinued but if it is i know that they have some more foundations so maybe they just kind of reformulated it or did something so hopefully it's still good but this is the sephora matte perfection foundation and it's amazing and it's also made in italy so that is really nice 
and it's just an awesome full coverage matte foundation that's not like cakey or drying it doesn't stick to any dry patches which is awesome especially for the winter months because my skin gets super dry it's really great because when you're wearing masks foundation can come off a lot so this one actually stays in place really nice even when you're wearing masks that like can rub on your face so that's definitely a plus so i love this one so my next favorite is this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Stick Concealer. So I'm actually a fan of the more like wet concealers that you put on with a brush. I don't really like stick concealers, but I honestly love this one for spot covering. If you have like any pesky pimples or blemishes, I find that this is really amazing just to kind of like spot conceal any zits because it's super full coverage and it honestly stays in place. So I've been really loving this concealer because I've been breaking out a little bit more this month and this has honestly helped me so much just kind of cover anything up and look pretty natural because it's really good coverage but it still does blend really nicely and it's so creamy and pigmented so I honestly had to mention this stick concealer because I don't really hear people talking about it much so I just wanted to give it a little shout out. It just started to literally pour rain so I'm sorry if you guys are hearing like the pitter patter of the falling rain but it's really really loud but I want to finish this video so I'm just gonna continue on <laughs> so my next favorite is actually an oldie but a goodie it is the Sephora cream lip stain so I love the Sephora lip stains honestly they're really really great they're an affordable price and they are actually one of my favorite formulas so this shade in particular is one of my favorites this is the shade 33 so they don't have names I believe they still just have numbers this one is quite old it's like a couple years old but I love this one so this is just like the perfect like beigey nude with a little bit of like rose to it so i really love this lip stain i'm actually wearing it underneath this lip gloss today now wearing masks all the time out i can't really wear lip gloss as much just because it's a pain i hate when like i'm wearing a mask and the lip gloss gets like stuck on there and you feel like you can't talk so honestly lip stains are where it's at so when i am going to be wearing makeup and i have to wear a mask i definitely will always wear a lip stain just because it's so much more convenient and just easy so the sephora ones are amazing and this shade number 33 I, I don't know if it has a name maybe i'll check online but this one is amazing it's just the most beautiful color my next favorite i had to mention are these color pop brushes i don't really talk about brushes that much on my channel i definitely use them a lot on my channel but i don't really mention them because i just feel like i don't know it's just kind of boring to talk about brushes but honestly without brushes makeup would be really hard to do and really hard to master so brushes are so important they are a super important instrument and honestly i love affordable brushes so these ColourPop ones are amazing and i had to mention a few of my favorites from them they're very dirty as you can see they're well loved i have to wash all my makeup brushes very soon and i'm dreading it but these ColourPop brushes are really good quality they really feel luxe and they're just great so they're slowly just becoming my favorite to use and i just wanted to mention this one over here is the ColourPop f28 brush and this is my favorite brush for bronzing the face because it's just like the perfect size it's nice and big but you can still like get into like the crevices of your cheek there and if you want to like define it a little bit more i really really love this brush and for highlighting this is honestly one of my new favorite highlighting brushes this is the ColourPop f33 brush and it's amazing for highlighting because it is like the perfect thickness it's not too thick and it's not too fluffy but it still has a little bit of like thickness and fluffiness to it but it's kind of like tapered a little bit so it's honestly just perfect for highlighting the cheeks and anywhere else you want to highlight so i really love this f 33 brush so those were just a couple brushes i wanted to mention but they have so many amazing ones really great blending brushes for the eyes and there's a ton of great brushes so if you guys are in the market for some new brushes then definitely check out those they're great and they are affordable so that's pretty much it for beauty favorites i have a couple other random ones i'm going to share with you guys so the next one is this schmitz rose and black pepper natural deodorant so they are amazing they are all natural they have no aluminum salts no artificial fragrances, nothing toxic for your skin. So that is super important. For the past couple of years, I've switched to all natural deodorants and Schmitz is my number one favorite. I always use them because I just love them and I love the scents and I love their staying power. So, so this one over here is fairly new. This is their rose and black pepper sensitive skin formula one. So this one's great because it's formulated with hemp seed oil, but there's no THC or CBD inside just in case you guys are wondering. But honestly, I love anything rose scented so my favorite from them is the rose and vanilla just the regular skin formula but this sensitive one which is the rose and black pepper is so nice oh 
it's just kind of like a rosy but also fresh and you get like that kick of like the spiciness of the pepper so I just love it and I love their deodorants as I said my favorite is their just original formula because I find it's a little bit stronger but the scented one I love to use if I know I'm not gonna be doing much I'm not gonna be sweating too much and especially even after the shower before bed because you don't really need so like a heavy-duty deodorant at least I don't so I like to use the sensitive one and I just really love the scent and they have a lot of amazing scents so definitely check them out if you guys are in the market for a natural deodorant you will love them the next thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is this burst brush. This is a toothbrush, and I actually just received this recently, so I got to try it out, and I honestly love it. I've never owned like an electric toothbrush like this, so this was really cool to like try out and see the difference. So it came with this like little cute rose gold carrying case, and as you can see, you have like the two parts here, and you just stick them together and it clicks right in, and then there's like a little charging thing for it, so you just charge it and it vibrates. <laughs> so it's really good. I actually thought that the brush head itself was like a little bit small and thin, but I find that it deep cleans my teeth better for some reason. So I've honestly really been loving this and I feel like it does give a deeper clean and it's honestly superior to just like a normal toothbrush. So I know it's a little bit more pricey. Brushing your teeth is something you do at least two times a day. So it's super important. It's something you do every day. So I think it's really important to invest in a good quality toothbrush. And I love this one and I love this rose gold color. I just think it is so pretty but of course they have other colors on their website so I can link it in the description box okay guys so that is it for my November favorites the weather is starting to get even worse outside so I want to wrap this up I hope you guys enjoyed this November favorites I would love to know what your favorites were if you guys have any like standout products that you think I would love I would love to know it so please leave anything in the comment section down below so I hope you guys had an amazing November I hope that December is even better we have a lot of holidays coming up we have Christmas we have New Year's so I'm really excited for the future I really hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy out there in these crazy times and honestly YouTube has been such a great escape for me so I love making these videos for you guys I hope you guys enjoy them also so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please hit the notification bell also so you can be notified when I post because that's super important I know a lot of people like miss my videos or just aren't sure when I'm posting because my schedule is a little bit crazy right now but I am trying to work on more of like a scheduled posting so we'll see how that goes but for now please hit the notification bell so you can see when I post and of course like comment subscribe it means so much to me so thank you guys so much and I love you bye